Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. Today I'm going to make some make-ahead meals for us. And I'll put some in the freezer and some I'll just set aside for our dinner the next couple of nights. We're going to make lasagna. You see my lasagna? But I'm going to show you how I put it together for the freezer. We're going to make a meatloaf. We're not going to cook it. We're just going to put it together, bag it up, and get it ready for the freezer. We're also going to make some meatballs. So that way, if we want meatballs for the extra sauce, because you know we didn't use all the sauce in the lasagna last time, so we can have some meatballs and spaghetti, or we can make a sauce, put it over the meatballs, and make some sub sandwiches with them. Oh, they're delicious. And I'm also going to just grind up, brown up, grind up some meat, and that way we can make tacos, we can make sloppy joes, whatever we want with them when the time comes. So let's get started. We're going to start today with getting our meat browned up because we're going to use this same skillet. We'll start with that and there's no need for us to have to wash it, okay? So I have got, I went to the store yesterday and I purchased two, four, I've got right at six pounds of ground chuck. I like ground chuck. I know I like ground chuck. It has enough fat in it, but not too much like ground beef. It's got more fat. Ground round doesn't have enough fat. Not for me, but you use what you want. This is what we like. My preference. So if I can get in this package, if you can find it on sale, that would be great. I got this for $3.98 a pound at our local Piggly Wiggly. Now, I know that it's higher in some places, but I think $3.98 was a good price. So, let's get the skillet going. Y'all like my new skillet? I got tired of fooling with that crazy eye because it just sometimes it didn't get hot enough. So when I got this, it's deep, and I can cook a lot of stuff in this. So I want to get it heated up, and I'm going to go ahead and get my meat all opened, and that way it's ready for me instead of me having to wait and do this each time. I've got it sitting on a pan here, so it's out of my way. But yeah, this is, I love to do meals ahead, and that way when we have some place we want to go, something we want to do, I don't have to worry about coming in and cooking. Y'all hear me and see me so many times talk about using my Instapot. That way, if I've got errands to run, I've got dinner, I can make, put it on a slow cooker. Or when I come home, if I would decide I want to cook some dry beans, it doesn't take long. Stove top, I'll stand there three hours or more, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, as much as I love to cook, I don't want to spend my whole day doing it. So, let's get started. I've got my cup of coffee, and I'm ready to go. Mm. Sit that out of the way. Okay, so first I've got to decide how much I'm going to divide this meat up for our projects. I need just over a pound for my meatloaf, and I need only a pound for my ground, but, uh, my homemade lasagna. I'll get it right. So... These are right at two pounds each, so I'm going to say one aside for my meatloaf and my lasagna. I'm going to take a little extra out of this because my meatloaf called for a pound and a half. And y'all, it makes a big meatloaf. I may cut it in half and make two small ones for me and Pop. Okay, so now I need meat for my meatballs, right? Okay. And my ground meat. This is still just a tad over a pound. 
right about a pound. So we're going to go ahead and put this in our skillet. It's getting hot already. We're going to start grinding, grinding, listen to me, grinding this up. I'm going to take a little bit out of here and we're going to use the rest of this for our meatballs. Okay, meatloaf and lasagna, meatballs. See, that didn't take me but a minute to divide that up. Let me wash my hands and I'm going to put on some gloves so I don't have to stop every turn. Y'all know I keep a sink of hot soapy water so that way if I need to turn around, wash my hands off or wash something real quick, I can do it. I've got my spoon here and I've got a big spoon rest. Thanks, Amy. I'm using it. I love it. You know her as Prince Cat Star. She's been a really good friend to me. So we're going to get this. Now, while this is browning, we're not going to waste time. But let's turn it down just a little bit. So while that's browning, we're going to start making up something else. So, I think we need to start making up, what do we want to make up? Let's make up our meatballs, okay? Here's our meatball mixture, okay? I'm done with those, get rid of it. I'm going to put my gloves on now. Don't waste time, be doing something. If you've got something going, you've got a few minutes, turn around and wash up what dishes you have in the sink or put them in the dishwasher. I do not put my pots and pans in my dishwasher, even though they say they're dishwasher safe. I don't like to do it. I need an egg. Let me grab an egg. I knew I'd forget something, and I thought I would have everything together. Okay, so I've got an egg. I'm going to put that in here. Now, remember, we're not making meatloaf at this time. So, but I want something to help bind the meatballs. Now, I've got some onion that I went ahead and chopped up to make it convenient, but I am going to put some onion in this okay and we're going to use that again i want some salt and pepper i'm not using a lot yeah i like my grinders i know i've showed them to you i'm just so proud of them and i'm so proud of carrie showing them to me okay We may just do this as an uncut, what do you say, instead of splitting it up. Let's brown this meat. Now, when I get it browned, I'm going to sit it out and let it cool. Get our ground meat chopper, I don't know what to call it. This is in my Amazon store. So if you see anything that I use you like, go to my Amazon store. It's always linked in the description box and you'll find my products there. I've got to learn how to separate into categories. So when you go to my Amazon store, you're going to see a picture. Right now it's the Kinder's buttery season that I like. Just click on that and it opens everything up, okay? I know a couple have asked me about it because they couldn't find something, but that's what it is. I love this thing. It just, I don't know why it took me so long to get one. They're not expensive. And I have got my meat all chopped up and ground up. Okay, so that's going to make some good tacos or sloppy joes. 
Okay, so I've got my egg, I've got my onions, and my salt and pepper in here. Is there anything else I want? You know, I think I want to put a little bit of milk because I want them moist and I don't want them drying hard. Now, I went ahead and preheated my oven to 400. I'm going to cook these in the oven. I'm not going to stand here and fry individual meatballs. They work out perfectly in the oven. I use half and half. Mm. Okay, so as we make them, we want to put them out on a pan, right? So I'm going to start with one pan. This is a quarter sheet pan. I'm going to give it a good spray. Because I don't want them to stick. So let's start mixing this up. This is going to be so good. Now, some of this, like I said, will go in the freezer. And it will just, I'll just pull it out when we're ready. I get ready to cook. I've got things to do. And I stay busy a lot. And, you know, between doing my videos, taking care of my house, taking care of my husband, and I love to feed him. Y'all know how much he loves and appreciates what I feed him. And I don't know of too many things that I cook that he doesn't like. So there we go. And it's that simple for my meatballs. But do I want some seasoning in it? I don't want to put a whole lot because I'm going to use it for different things. You know what? I think I won't because I can, if I want to do meatball subs and put the sauce on it, I use ketchup, vinegar, sugar, and mix it up, pour it over and let them simmer, and that is delicious. Put you some cheese, put them on the hoagie bun, put you some cheese on it, stick them under the broiler. Oh my gosh. But I can season them up with stuff like that. If I do tacos, I can season them up like that. So we're just going to get a little bit, roll them up. I dropped it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a moist meatball. But I need to tend to this meat, so let me take these gloves off. But I also want to get out a scooper to do the meatball so I can have them all even. This is about ready to come up. See how quick it is? And I've got that ready. This is kind of a um, cookie scoop. So let's get them measured out onto our pan and we'll come back and roll them up. Oh, it smells so good already. Pop has gone fishing today. He got up, he and our oldest son, Chris, got up and they kind of formed a little fishing club with just some of their buddies. No big deal. Just something for them all to do together. And, um, I am making a mess today, y'all. I almost dumped that over. But they've gone fishing for a little bit until it gets hot. It is going to be so hot today. So they wanted to go while it was still cool. They left about 4.30 this morning. And so they could get out and try to beat the heat. And I suspect they'll probably be rolling in within the hour. Because it is getting warm already. It's 90 degrees already. And it's 11 o'clock here in central Alabama. So, our fill likes are going to be over 100. And they've been that way all week. All last week. And I think they're going to be that way this coming week. But looking at the extended, 
The next week, it looks like we might get a little bit of a, of a break. So when I say the temperatures are only going to be in the 80s, that sounds strange because the 80s are warm, aren't they? Okay, see, I got a lot of meatballs out of that. See, three, six, nine, twelve, seventeen meatballs. And if I made them a little smaller, we'd have had more. I didn't want to make them smaller. Okay, so let's take this meat up. Let's turn this off for now. Let's take this meat up. Let me get something. Slotted spoon. I want plastic so I don't scratch up this pan. And let's just put it out on this tray because I want to let this cool before I bag it up and put it in the freezer. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to separate this into meat for tacos and meat for sloppy joes. We love sloppy joes. And I have to say, I don't make my own. My Carrie does, my daughter-in-law, and I need to get her recipe so we can make some homemade sloppy joe mix. Now looky there. That's a lot of ground meat. That's a couple of meals. So we're just gonna set this right up here. Y'all watch it, and we're gonna let it cool. Okay, so let's get back to making our meatballs. More gloves. This way it just keeps my hands clean. I'm not constantly washing them. Do you wash your hands sometimes so much? They start getting dried out. Mine do. Okay. Just squeeze it together a little bit. You don't, don't pack them too tightly because that'll make them tough. Just kind of squeeze them together just enough where they'll stay together. And you've got a nice meatball that's gonna, when you cut into it, it's gonna be moist and delicious. Excuse it. I'm happy I got that many meatballs. That's a lot of meatballs for us. Because, and sometimes I'll do the sauce like I was telling you about and mashed potatoes, green beans, and serve the meatballs like that. I'll only eat a couple. Pop may eat three or four. And that's going to be it. And yeah, I'm going to tell you a little secret. He's got a birthday coming up in a few days. His birthday's on the 13th. He says he's not having a birthday, but he is. You reach our age, you just want to forget birthdays. So he doesn't like anything elaborate, no parties. He just quiet. Look you there. We're going to put these in the oven. Now, like I told you, I've got it preheated to 400. And these will cook. Well, we'll check them probably 20 minutes and see how they look. If we need to let them go a little bit longer. And we will. Okay, see, my hands are clean. I will get fresh gloves when we go to our next project. But let me slip this in the oven. Twenty minutes. Okay, now for our meatloaf. I need a bowl to mix my meatloaf in. So y'all watch this while I wash my bowl. You know, and I didn't have to wash it because we're just going to be putting the same back in it. And that would have been a step that I could have saved. So y'all think about that.
It's not dirty. All right. So let's take this. Let's just dry it out a little bit. Dry the bottom so we don't have water all over the place. Okay, meatloaf. Like I said, it's just... Um, a lot of meat. Um, you know what? I almost messed up because some of this is meat from my lasagna. We cannot have that. We can't have that. So I need... A pound for my lasagna so that should work right there oh I'm glad I thought about that y'all didn't tell me okay so ground to meat we I printed off my meatloaf recipe so I would have it, and y'all know I don't put ketchup or red sauce on my meatloaf. We do the brown gravy. Okay, so in my, to my meat, I'm going to add a quarter, around a quarter cup of onions. The onions that I chopped up. Let's add some of those. I'm just eyeballing. So what we don't use, I will put in a refrigerator. And I'll use it for something else. You can freeze them, take them out. Y'all have seen me do that before with peppers and onions and celery. Freeze them. Put them in your baggies. Freeze them. You've got it whenever. Now, there'll be a little liquidy. So, that liquid will come out as they're cooking. So, just pour it off and they will cook up beautifully. We need one egg. And I've told you, don't crack your egg over your bowl. Please, they're on the side of the bowl. You get shell in there. I see so many people do that. And then they crack it on the side of the bowl. They leave that little bitty tiny fragments. And um, I don't want to eat it. I don't want you to either. Salt and pepper, just salt and pepper to taste. Now, I'm not going to put much salt because remember I just told you that when we do meatloaf, we do brown gravy. So my brown gravy will have salt in it, but I want to salt the meat as well as I will the gravy. That might have been a half a teaspoon. It was not much. I need some breadcrumbs, and I'm going to use about half a cup. Now, these are seasoned breadcrumbs, but if you've got plain, that's perfect because we're going to add some season, seasonings to this. And I got a quarter cup of half and half. I've already measured that out. I want half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Where's my... Here it is. Half a teaspoon. Let's find that half a teaspoon measure. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And if you've got garlic, by all means, put some garlic in it. That'd be the delicious. I measured out the last of my garlic for my lasagna, and I'd rather have it in the lasagna. Now, I want a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I know I put onions in it, but this is just a little different taste, okay? A half a teaspoon of paprika. I love my spice drawer here. I can just pull it out, stand here, and pick up what I want. Half a teaspoon of paprika. And I wish I had just used smoked paprika because wouldn't that be good? And a tablespoon of parsley. I have dried parsley. Yeah, I... This weather has been so crazy, so hot. We went so long without rain, and we lost our squash and our tomatoes. My parsley was planted in the same planter with my tomatoes, so it wasn't growing. 
very well because the tomatoes were hiding it and this has been a learning curve for me this year so i know not to plant that with other things so now that we cleaned all the squash and tomato plants out my parsley is starting to come back so i'll be using fresh parsley soon okay so that's it that's it i need some more gloves now when i bake this I will bake it at 425 and my video will be linked uh, below in the description box to the meatloaf and I'm going to link the video to the lasagna so you'll have all of the directions and the recipe on those links okay so let's Let's get to mixing up. Let's get a pan because we want to put it out on this pan. Then we're going to, not right now, I'll do this after we sign off. And we'll mix it up and then we're going to put it in, I'm going to put it in food saver bags. Don't forget when you use those to label what's in it and the date. I wouldn't keep this in the freezer. Some will tell you three to four months. I think you can probably go six months. And it's that quick. And I've got meatloaf mixed up here. Let's divide it. There's two of us. We do not need huge portions. This is everything that I've shown you. It is easily doubled and tripled for your family if you have a larger family. Um, if my children were to come over, we decide to do meatloaf, I'll pull out both of them. So that is not an issue. I'd rather pull out two than cook too much and waste it for me and him. Although, I'm going to tell you, Pop Jones loves Meat love sandwiches. So it wouldn't go to waste here. We will not eat a whole meatloaf, even these small ones. So he'll have some lunch. Looky there. Let me get these off so I can hold this pan up and show you what we have. Looky there. Two beautiful meatloafs. Let's set those aside. I do believe I'm done with this bowl. Okay. Look here. Already we've got three meals prepared. We've been cooking just over 20 minutes. So next we're going to do our lasagna. I'm not washing this pan because I'm putting ground beef back in it. Ground chuck, not beef. So let's turn this back on. I want to get out my lasagna recipe. So it says I need uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Yeah, don't worry about trying to write this down as we go along. I'll tell you what they are, but the recipes are linked in on the video in the description box. So we're going to... I'll get it. Onions and garlic. This was the last of my garlic. I'm not going to put that garlic in yet. So I want to put what equals about a medium onion. Let's keep that on. I'm not going to save that little bit. Excuse me. And it's just going to make it delicious. I like this skillet so far. It gets hot quick. I'm not standing here waiting on it like I was that little eye. So let's get that started and I'll put this garlic in it in just a minute and um, I'm trying to decide I've t in my recipe I tell you if you have Italian style crushed tomatoes you don't need to add Italian seasoning I think I might add just a little bit anyway but I do have Italian if I can find it I may be out. I 
I might be out. You know, no, I'm not. Looky here, I've got a whole big old jar. So let me move some of this down here where it's easier for us. I'm not going anywhere. And I want to put this milk away because we're done with it. So I'm going to move all of my ingredients. We don't need this. We're just going to move down what we need. And I feel like I'm making a mess here. I'm going to try to separate the sauce and the lasagna. Okay. Now, I can reach it and still see you. I'm so glad you're in the kitchen with me today. I just enjoy having every one of you with me. It's so much fun when we can cook together, right? All right, I've got that sauteing nicely. Now, while that's sauteing, I want to, I'm going to go ahead and open these. I'm not ready to put them in yet. But guys, let me tell you, I've told you before, wash the tops of your cans. I do mine. And when I pick these up at the store, I brought them home. I just put them up on the shelves so I wanted to pull them out to cook for you. They were so dirty and dusty on the top. I am not opening that can without washing it. So I did. They sit around in a warehouse. They get shipped to the store. They sit there. They get put on the shelves. And then I bring them home. And my pantry, so to speak, or shelves out here in my garage right outside this door behind me. And I've got the five shelf shelves. And that's where I keep canned goods. I do not put anything that's in boxes or flour and sugar because I don't want anything to get into them. So I have somewhere else I keep that. And what I'm using at the moment, I keep in here. Okay, so these are coming along. They're getting a little bit brown. I don't want them brown. So let's put in our, uh, our garlic. Let's put in our garlic. Okay. Now, let's add our ground beef. Oh, Chuck, I keep wanting to say ground beef. Y'all correct, keep correcting me. We're done with that. You know, remember we're still using the same spoon the same pan. I'm cooking the same thing. So there's no need for me to keep messing up dishes. <laughs> you can smell this onions and garlic already in this pan. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. I love the smell. I wonder if we can get a candle made with onion and garlic and bacon. Or air freshener. I'll settle for an air freshener. Yeah, I'm so excited. My grandson, Dalton, that is at uh, the University of North Alabama in Huntsville, is coming in today. He's going to spend a couple of days and tomorrow, this is Sunday, tomorrow which will be Monday. I'm not sure exactly what day you'll see this. Uh, he's coming in and he's going to come over and spend some time with me and we're going to cook. And I hope you will watch it. Stay tuned for it. 
because he and I are going to make coconut shrimp. This will be the first video that I've cooked with him. If you want to go back and see some pictures, uh, I'm not sure if I did a video, but uh, we had a family gathering and he came in for it. My brothers and their wives and children were all here. He is on that. But yeah, we did. We did do a little live. And uh, he was sitting next to me. He's a little handsome redhead. His uh, girlfriend is not going to be able to make it. She's working. So she can't come in. But he's wanting to come in and spend some time with his mom and dad before school starts. And he starts school in a few days. But I'm excited about seeing him and spending time and getting to cook with him. Yeah, this meat has put out so little grease. I mean, like the ground meat we did there, there wasn't enough grease in it for me to worry about uh, taking it off. And the same thing here and out of this package, there's not that much. Hmm. Do y'all like coffee? Do you drink coffee or tea? Or none? I don't drink as much as I used to. But now and then, I just want a cup of coffee. This is getting browned. Now there is... I am going to take... I, I'm, I'm not kidding you when I say there's not that much grease in here. But I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to dab it a little bit. And it's that simple, that little oil come off of that. Okay, so next what we're going to do is... I do not have any tomato paste. This recipe calls for tomato paste, but it only calls for, well, it calls for three tablespoons, but we're gonna have to leave it out because I don't have any. Uh, we're gonna add our seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and add some Italian seasoning. It calls for half a tablespoon. So let's just put that much. That's right about half a tablespoon. Give or take. Still gonna be good. We're done with this. Let's get rid of this. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so we have one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Now what this is gonna do it's going to help cut some of the acid from the tomatoes. Although I love that acid. My oldest son says, why do you want to do that? I don't know. My recipe called for it. A teaspoon of garlic powder. And half a teaspoon of salt. That's not much. That's not even half a teaspoon, okay? So let's stir that around. We're going to add our tomatoes. I've got a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I prefer petite diced. I didn't have petite diced, so we're using regular diced tomatoes. I've got two cans, 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. They're going in. Mm. Our timer's going off just in time. Let me get this stirred in and let's go check our meatballs. This is not taking long. I am so happy. Let's check our meatballs. I think I want to let them cook just a few more minutes. 
you can judge when you do it how many you want how much time you need to add to it if it's not done my oven cooks a little bit slower than a lot so yours might cook higher in 20 minutes is perfect okay so we need to let this simmer it says simmer one hour i'm not going to keep you on here an hour but i'm going to show you the steps that we do okay let's get rid of this clean up your work surface as you go i cannot stress that enough let me get my lid i'm going to turn this down low very low and let it simmer okay so but what i'm gonna do you see my little pans i've got here this is the perfect size for me and pop now i can't tell you what size it is maybe you can find them but that'll make a meal plus leftover for his lunch so i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do a couple of lasagnas and what's left of this sauce i'm gonna put in a container let me show you what i'm gonna use one of these containers but y'all don't throw away this was a ricotta cheese that i had save it like the grated parmesan cheese save it you can store in these or if you want to give something to a neighbor or send leftovers home with someone use those and you don't have to worry about getting your dishes back okay so first of all i am going to write directions on this this is the lid okay but i'm going to come back and i'll seal this with aluminum foil also so i'm going to write it's a lasagna yeah i made a couple of these for one of stephanie's agents he had had a stroke and his wife's really sick with cancer so uh, they did a meal train so I made a couple of these so they would have one to cook and eat now and one to put in the freezer she was in the hospital and uh, he is recovering but he still got a little ways to go so he was trying to get with her the other agents are helping watch after him helping him get around and see her but i made that some of these for him and her do it for a neighbor do it for a friend do it for your family and everybody appreciates it you need gifts to give someone make ahead meals people love homemade make ahead meals and you took the time to make them and cook them that shows your love so y'all do that for these people okay so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to write the directions on here i'm not going to make you sit and wait while i do that what i'm going to do is when i get ready to do this i'm going to layer a little bit of sauce in here now i'm using no bake noodles i'm sorry no boil noodles they're oven ready i don't have to take the time to stop and cook noodles rinse them separate them i just pull one of these out and it's good to go so i'm i'll put one of those down i'll put some more sauce on it i'll put some grated parmesan cheese i got fresh grated bel so and and then keep layering in between these layers i will mix up i could not find ricotta cheese at the piggly wiggly when i was there yesterday so i got cottage cheese i use either one you use which one you want so i'll mix the cottage cheese some beaten egg and what else does it call for i'll put some parsley in it and i'll put that in between the layers noodle sauce the 
cottage cheese mixture start back over and on the top i'm going to sprinkle it with the grated parmesan cheese i'll close it up and when it comes time i want to eat one i'll let it thaw i'll put it in the oven bake it and let's see the, the directions are there and da -da 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 -da, you want to bake it about 30 minutes full covered remove these lids if you use them remove them there paper on the outside it's like it's not really full it's just full looking on the inside they're great for storing but not for baking okay and you're going to remove your foil you're going to sprinkle it with parmesan mozzarella cheese grated mozzarella i use the bag it's convenient grate your own it's absolutely delicious when i take the time i'll have extra time i'll grate my own cheese today i'm not but i want to get these done and get it in my freezer and um I'll seal it up, put them in the freezer, date it, I put what it is, and when I'm ready for it, I'm gonna pull it out. Let's check the meatballs again. They should be done. I think they're done this time. Y'all, look here. Look at those meatballs. Now, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna set them over here because they are Screaming hot. Turn my oven off. I'm done with it. And I'm going to put this together. I'm going to get my meatloaf bagged up. I'm going to separate my ground chuck that we browned. And I'm going to let my lasagna sauce simmer for an hour. Get those put together. And I may keep one out for supper. I may freeze them both. But I am so glad you spent some time with me today. And I hope I gave you at least a couple of ideas of something to do for make head meals. And we'll hopefully we can do this again. Y'all, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, hit that little notification bell so you'll know when we post our next video. See you soon, everybody.